In this video, I am taking on K9 Dog Power versus a de-restricted e-bike. Recently, I've just learned about the whole world of bike drawing and I absolutely loved it. I saw a race, I even took it on myself. And if you haven't seen that video, well, you've got to check it out. But here is a reminder of how I got on. Straight back. Let's go, my pup. It's fair to say I really felt the power of the dogs and it was kind of addictive, but what I wanted to find out was if I bought a de-restricted e-bike to the party, well, could I then beat the dogs? Three or even two dogs. So in order to find out, well, I've come to the southwest of England in a field on a farmer's bit of land. So, this is my three-wheeled cart that I race a four-dog team of dogs with. What you'll notice is there is a bigger wheel at the front and then two smaller wheels at the back. On this cart, we've got a 26-inch on the front with two 20-inch wheels at the back. Uh, I do have another cart with a 29 on the front and 26 on the back, but depending on the trail will depend which cart I use. On the track today, uh, it's really tight with corners, so the smaller wheels make it a little bit easier for me to control with the speed of the dogs. Um, we've got rigid forks. We're just basically trying to make this equipment as lightweight as we can, but also it's got to be as strong as it can uh, be to withstand the, the power of the dogs and the speed of the dogs. So the, the equipment does get tested through its paces. Uh, things like the through axles, they've all got to be 20, in, uh, 20, 20 mil um, or else the dogs will, will break them because of the power. Um, so you've got the rigid forks. It's made out of aluminium. It's super lightweight. There's not too many brands that you can buy for these carts. Uh, there's only a few manufacturers. This one's from Poland and it's designed by a world champion. That's why I race on this one because I believe it's the fastest one I can get. And let's face it, we're trying to win a race. Um, so the only thing that I'm missing off my cart now is my four dogs. So let's go and get the engine and uh, see what we can do. Okay, so this is my crazy three dog team. Let's see what they've got. Everyone ready? Three, two, one, let's go! Woo! That looked, that looked oh. impressive. They were sick. That was, oh, that was amazing. You were flying around there. How do the dogs do? Yeah, buzzing. The power coming out of the corners, I immense. How yeah. living the dream, mate. Who do you think is going to win? Me. Yeah? No, I don't know, mate. Confidence is key. That's key. That was amazing. Um, my dogs are amazing. I can't wait to see what everyone else can do on that trail. Uh, it was pretty intense. Uphill was hard work for free dogs, but those corners, uh, the power, Oh, I'm buzzing. Good luck to everyone else, let's do it. Okay, so you can bike duo with pretty much any bike you've got. I'm gonna be using my race bike today. It's my trusty Canyon Lux. Nice full suspension with a 100 mil travel front and back, 29 inch wheels. Um, it's pretty much the setup as you would buy. The only difference is, is I've got this arm to keep the line out the wheel. Mine is just attached to the frame. You can get ones that are attached to the stem. I just find this one more convenient to take off to ride without the dog. It's nice and light, so hopefully it'll beat Hank and pulling. It's now time to meet the engine. Type of dog, Eurohound. Name, Beats. Age, 18 months. Weight, 32 kilograms. Top speed, 30 miles per hour. Body fat percentage, very low, but eats like a horse. Pore size, five centimeters. Height, 72 centimeters. 
built to run short distances at high speed. So we're just coming to the start of uh, well, Bex's run now. Yes. How do you think she's going to get on? Amazing. I yeah. think she's going to smash it. Do, do you think she's going to beat you? I think she's on an advantage on a bike with two dogs. I think. Well, it's lighter. She can pedal. She so can it's pedal. Assisted. Um, home trail. Her dogs know the trail. I think she's yeah. on to an advantage. Okay, off you go, guys. <laughs> High five. You killed that. That was awesome. How do you find it? Yeah, it's great. We don't usually race around there. We usually do training pace. So yeah. Trying to go fast. Absolutely wicked. I mean, you looked like you were absolutely flying. Have you got any guesses of your time? Oh, I'm hoping near two minutes. Hopefully slightly less. You're definitely near two minutes, <laughs> but I've still got my run to do. Yeah. But the dogs did a hell of a job, didn't they? You were railing those corners. They were awesome. They listened so well. You, you, I mean, They've, they've worked hard, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, right. Bex's run's done. Now it's time for me. Now you're probably wondering what I'm using to take on the dog power. Now I've brought in the heavy artillery, the big guns. I'm using the Canyon Grail on. Now you might have seen this in previous videos. This is our de-restricted version. Yeah, it's passing a Bosch motor, which gives me 340% extra on what I'm putting through the pedals. And it's got 85 newton meters of torque. Now this uh, well, Bosch motor is packing a different modes. It's got uh, eco, touring, sports and turbo. And uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be using turbo, I think. So uh, what well, power is in bucket loads. I can't see how a group of Canines are gonna beat me aboard this thing. I mean, it's ridiculously quick, but well, I might as well show them who's boss. Three, two, one. Yeah! Slow start, but we're out the door. I've got to say that was uh, another good match. But what you guys want to know, what we want to know is what the times are. So, uh, Vix, yep. you went out first, three dogs and uh, on the cart. Yep. You did it in two minutes and 12 seconds, which is a solid time. It's, you know, soft ground and all. Yeah, pleased with that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I would be. Bex, your time was two minutes and three seconds. Ooh. Meaning the bike was actually quicker, yeah. lighter, with two dogs. And now it's all down to my time. What's my time? Do you want to see? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. So the, so the time there that I did it with the Canyon de-restricted was 2.14, meaning, well, I was slower than Vix and Bex and the dogs. Um, I guess that just shows dog power is even more superior than e-bike power. God, if you guys enjoyed this video as we did making it, then give us a big thumbs up and let us know what you think down below in that comment section. And if you love bike during as much as we all do. Um, I, I mean, you can't not give a thumbs up to these, can you? Right, see you guys in the next video.